The government of St. Lucia recently celebrated the grand reopening of the Ancillary Health and Wellness Center with a ribbon cutting ceremony. Minister for Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, the Honorable Moses Jobati, says it is his hope that this wellness center can transform the health services provided to the residents to something more innovative. Of course, we need to continue to provide quality service. We are known for quality service. We know that our nurses provide quality care. We need to continue to do that. We need to continue to be a good example and a leader, not only in Region 7, not just in St. Lucia, but throughout the, the Caribbean region. I want you to turn this place into a, sec a center of excellence, a center of innovation, and I told the nurse the last time I visited, why don't we develop specific protocols, do the studies, and create a center which will have the best treatment for snake bites? Parliamentary representative for ancillary canneries, the Honorable Wayne Girard, applauded the reopening of the facility and says he is pleased that the residents will have access to quality and reliable healthcare services. The Ancillary Wellness Center is really an investment in the people of this community, in our wellness, in our potential, in our dreams and aspirations, in our hopes and ambitions. This wellness center is for you and your children. Indeed, what we are celebrating today is not just this building, but the services this building will provide to the community it serves, how the wellness center will provide access to quality health care at this community so desperately needs. Prime Minister of St. Lucia, the Honorable Philip J. Pierre says his government remains committed to ensuring that the people of St. Lucia are the top priority and that quality health care services are delivered. I want you to take care of this building. I want you to treat this building as your own. I want to thank NIPRO and to tell Mr. Arnold that I'll be knocking on his door very, very soon. Because we need to make NIPRO and the NIC work for us, work with us. We need to do it. And I have to thank NIPRO. And the point, the point on maintenance is extremely important. We have to ensure that we maintain our buildings. We have to maintain them. You cannot build them and leave them. We have to maintain them. So I'm looking, I'm looking forward to see that this building remains in this pristine condition. Following the ribbon cutting ceremony, the government delegation, along with the NIPRO representative, toured the newly constructed Ancillary Health and Wellness Center. The facility was constructed and furnished at the cost of approximately easy $9 million. Reporting from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Fernal Neptune.